Hey guys, this is Sima. Um, I want to spend this video talking about Avon fame. There's a particular question in specific that people like to ask a lot about Avon fame. They say, um, I have the required amount of items, but they're not accepting them. What's wrong? So I just want to spend this video real quick explaining how you can get past that little problem. Okay, right now we're at the Arthur Hammer fame group. There are three NPCs here. Two of these NPCs will take items that you turn in for Arthur Hammer fame. And one NPC, this guy over here, is the one you actually speak to to buy your fame items when you have the requisite amount of fame. For example, this particular greatsword requires 1,000 points of fame. Fame gear can be pretty cool. I have a a fame set myself. It's called Rainbow Onyx. It's a craft speed set. You can see I have 695 cast speed, and that's before any buffs, and I don't even have my cast speed meteor active. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's pretend we're gonna get Arthur Hammer fame. We look at this guy, and he takes thoughts, and this guy takes metals. If you open up your little fame icon right here in the mini-map and you click the little section that says general fame you can see how much fame you have with any of the particular aim and fame groups I have some which you can see right here these two came from trying to get my rainbow onyx set the thing to keep in mind is that there's an ambiguous translation and it's right here where it says fame range that means that is what your fame needs to be currently, right now, in order for you to turn in that respective item. If we want to turn in raw copper, we have to have a fame range from 0 to 100. If it's less than 0, which is impossible, or if it's more than 100, like 100 to 1 or plus, we can't turn in raw copper anymore. So when you first go to turn in fame items with a particular Avon fame group, you have to start at the zero because your fame will always be zero when you first start. We can't talk to this guy over here because the lowest tier for fame he has is 101. So until we have 101 or more fame, we can't even use this guy at all. So we're forced to use this guy. He takes raw copper for the first tier. These other two columns are useful and uh, the calculator helps a lot. <laughs> this column says number and that says, um, that informs you of how many items, how many units of that particular item they'll take in, at one time. So this says 50, that means that we can give this guy 50 raw copper at once. Every time we do that, we'll get some fame. How much fame will we get? That's here underneath the fame plus column. It says 50. So for every 50 raw copper we give this guy, we get 50 fame. In order to stop giving him raw copper and be able to give him something else, we have to meet or exceed the minimum threshold for the next tier. Here it's refined copper and the minimum threshold is 101. So we can turn in raw copper until we have 101 or more fame. Unfortunately, you can turn in only complete groups of 50. Different fame groups are different, and different NPCs for those fame groups are different. But for this guy with the metal, you turn in 50 at once. So we turn in, for example, we'll t have to turn in 50 raw coppers three times for 50, 100, and 150 fame. And that will put us right here in the, in the refined copper threshold. And we can start turning in refined coppers. Or, if we don't want to do that, once we have enough fame, we can use Terrified Thoughts. That's basically it. The hardest part about Avon Fame is remembering that the Fame Range column is telling you what your fame has to be right now in order to turn in this item. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, as far as should you turn in one type of item, say the metal, or the other type of item, the Thoughts, that really depends on the market, and it depends on what kind of services the Guild Town has. Um, Right now we have a mine, so it's possible to, to mine the metals yourself and maybe save some money. Well, it will take some time. Um, terrified Thoughts 
and foolish thoughts and such, those are drops from monsters. You can go around in the field grinding for them. But it could take quite a long time to grind hundreds and hundreds of thoughts. It's, it's going to take a lot to get the fame. If you look at my fame with Arcanum Association and Sage Dome, each one of these took, oh, almost a K of gold, 1,000 gold, to buy all the materials for fame, to get this much fame. So that set I showed you, the Rainbow Onyx set, once you calculate in the fame materials and the price of the actual item itself, it's like 3K. <laughs> fame items are expensive and they just get worse the higher up you go. But some of them are very, very useful. Okay, uh, that's enough rambling, <laughs> and I hope this was useful in some way. We'll use this thread for any further questions or comments. Thank you for watching.